Hi, this is David Curl. Uh, I'm here at Legal Tech and uh, I'm starting to hear uh, one of the themes that I hear at a lot of Legal Tech conferences these days and that's uh, are all around change management. Uh, we are into a phase where more and more in the industry, both uh, firm lawyers and in-house counsel are understanding that technology is, is a part of their future, but they're struggling a little bit with how to really um, implement it in their organizations. Um, I was just at an interesting session uh, with a panel of GCs uh, who were talking about this very sub subject and it started out with some data, some interesting new data from ALM about uh, where GCs figure they're getting traction and where they're not. Uh, and for the most part they're, they feel like they've done a good job in implementing um, changes in cost management, vendor management, those types of things, but really not gaining a lot of ground in process management and some of the, some of the higher level uh, changes they need to make. So the, really the panel uh, was talking not so much about the technology itself, but the challenges of, uh, of implementing it in their organizations, getting buy-in from both uh, upwards uh, from management and from the rank and file of the people who are going to be uh, adopting the technology. And I think that central theme of, of change management is something I'm hearing at a lot of tech conferences these days. There's no longer any question that the, um, the, the technologies were, uh, th that are available, whether it's process management, whether it's document management, e-discovery, contract management, all of these things are uh, accepted that they're, that they're coming, that they're going to be need, becoming a bigger part of legal practice, uh, but it's the, uh, it's the, it's the organizational uh, process of implementing those things that's, that's really holding things back. A couple of interesting specifics uh, out of that discussion. One is the, a, a very interesting discussion about um, agile uh, implementation versus sort of a waterfall uh, traditional style of IT development. Uh, and I think more and more GCs seem to be experimenting with incremental iterative development of new products rather than sending off a set of requirements and having an IT department coming back in months uh, with, a, with a completed project or product. Uh, the other one interesting um, specific area of technology that I've heard a lot about at uh, other conferences recently and in, in, in a lot of the literature in the industry is uh, contract uh, analysis. Uh, there's a lot of interesting new players out there that are taking uh, contracts and, and applying some of the same analytical technologies that we use in the e-discovery e space to contracts to try to make sense of them, to identify risks, to kind of bring out the structure in what are otherwise unstructured documents. And uh, I continue to hear over and over again that uh, I think a lot of uh, in-house legal departments in particular are interested in, uh, in, in pushing forward on some of that contract management and, and analysis technology in order to really gain some efficiencies in their organizations.